Bella was found as a stray, but the lady who found her, she did try and keep her as her own dog for two or three weeks, I think it was. And after she kind of was in the home, she realized that actually Bella had got some quite severe skin problems and it was gonna take more than what she was able to, to give her in terms of the medical financial care that she needed. And so she got in touch with us and brought Bella in so that we could take care of her from here. So she was in quite a sorry state skin wise. She had so much skin missing and we weren't sure if it was like mange or some sort of nasty infection bacteria going on. The majority of her fur was missing and it made quite her skin look quite sore, quite saggy in places. And so we got her to the vets obviously fairly quickly when she arrived here um, and they started treatment as soon as possible and treat any parasites or anything that was going on with her. And yeah, it wasn't long before we realized that hopefully, fingers crossed, it wasn't something that was going to be like a lifelong issue and it was just something we needed to get on top of. When she came to us, everyone was quite smitten with Bella, but one of our dog staff in particular was, and she got her home on foster fairly quickly. So um, she was taking her home on staff foster where she was living with four other dogs in the house. And yeah, she was having a great time. She became one of the gang and was going out on uh, big adventures with all her little pals and stuff. Yeah, and she settled in really well there. What we like about Bella is because she was a staff foster dog, it meant that she would arrive in the morning and then at the end of the day when we all finish work, we'd all leave together for the car park and Bella would come with us. Um, so she'd always leave, leave work at the same time as us. So her favorite thing was always greeting everyone at the end of the day when we all kind of gather and leave at the same time. And she wants to go around and give everyone a nice big hug, but she stands up on her back and she rolls back, leans right back into the hug so you can fuss her and all her little wrinkly neck uh, yeah, she was just really cute. <laughs> she does give really good hugs. <laughs> Considering, you know, the state that she was in when she arrived and being so young and having been through so much, it's amazing that she seems to have taken everything in her stride and seems to be thriving now. <laughs>